This snow season has been good so far for the Colorado Rockies, but not massive by any means. Our snowpack has been hovering at just about average. It's at 5% above average today. Very similar to last year when we were just 1% above average on this date. It was about mid-February, though, when things started to get very active. Snow started coming in by the foot and left our mountains with very little breaks in between storms, culminating with the historic avalanche cycle in March where more than one thousand slides were reported some of those hitting Colorado highways now this February the biggest storm in more than a month will hit the mountains through Friday over the next two weeks this Saturday may be the only completely snow free day in the mountains so that's 13 out of the next 14 days with at least some snow in the high country the Colorado Avalanche Information Center has issued an avalanche watch for the central and northern mountains and say they too have noticed a parallel in this season to last but but it will take more than just 14 days of snow to create the size avalanches that we saw in last season's long stretch of snowstorms. Yeah, I mean, so, you know, what happened from this point on last year was essentially continued snowfall, like the storm we're seeing coming in. But those continued to keep coming throughout the month of February. And then, of course, that snowy period ended with a two week cycle of you know historic proportions where we saw epic amounts of snow and snow water equivalent. And so, um, you know, to think that that's going to happen again is, is anyone's guess. There's no way for us to tell. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.